Um, I don't know. I, have, I, I think all of us saw this coming, right? I think all of us saw this, right? Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. What? Just the sense that the five-year thing was. Oh, just, it was basically uh, a, it know, was basically a lie, a lie that, that they were all yeah, basically gonna, gonna supposed die. to that they're all supposed to die. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And that's like oh. basically everything that happened in this episode. Like the pacing of the show is so slow. Yeah. And I mean, to be fair, I, you know, I know um, we've been told that they're being very faithful to the light novels and everything. So I am grateful for that. But it's mm-hmm. it, it, it kind of like the same thing with for me for with To Your Eternity. Like, it just feels like slow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is weird because they're, they're, they're being but it feels like it's being slow. But at the same time, it feels like we get absolutely like no time with like with those characters. Like, like, was when we, we mentioned before, there's so many characters, but it just feels like those other characters that like that die. Like, there's really no connection. Like, you yeah. kind of just, like, saw them, and then they're gone. And then I mean, you just kind of move on. Yeah, I think the big thing that we were kind of saying last week, too, is, like, with the revelation of the brother and confirming, you know, him being the one that had his heads taken, like, I'm really invested in that plot line. Like, I was expecting yeah. oh, yeah. to, you know, them infiltrate, you know, this this leading base that's kind of been the main hub for the opposing factions kind of war efforts. And then, you know, uh, um, oh, my God, why, what's the main character's name again? Is it Shin? Shin. Yeah. We'll Shin. yeah. Shin. Finn kind of finally having this initial, you know, uh, confrontation with his brother. And that obviously didn't happen. And and very much so, like, yes, I'm grateful that, you know, they did show like the the fireworks scenes and kind of like the emotional, like growing up of some of these characters that we said before, like we couldn't remember like half of their names. (laughs) We had a gun to our head. (laughs) Um, And uh, I don't know. It's weird that like I'm grateful for that. But then I feel like they did that with last week's episode. Like they already had kind of this heartfelt moment of like their interactions with each yeah. other outside of war. And it's just like, I, I want it to I move think, faster. So I think there's one like, of those, like, oh, I think for me, it's like, yeah, I, I'll probably just read the light novel. Just, I feel like it's better in light novel form. And I, I know yeah. I've seen too, a lot of like people like appraise the show for the directing. So I've been trying to pay attention to more to it more, but like at the same time, it's like there's all the other stuff that you guys are saying too. So I feel like it's just one of the things where like I just gotta read the light novel. So yeah, I think was it you that said Stratton last week? Like every time we see um, Lena's uncle, like it's the exact same shit. Like why even show it? And that was like a oh, perfect yeah. thing. Like yep. this week's episode again, it's her being like, "Hey, can I get the special write-off?" He's like, "No, the war efforts, blah blah blah. I'm a one-dimensional character, and this is you know <laughs> I say the same three monologues every time I'm shown." Yeah. And you were you know hit the nail on the head because when I saw that again, I'm just like why yeah. why are we here again like you're yeah. not adding anything to like <laughs> lena and her you know father and giving us more details there like you're literally just being you know general stonewall saying the exact same things yeah like, oh, yeah. oh not even her uncle but her like her best friend too were like a lot of yeah those basically i think that that was the main one like i was harp like i was actually having issues with i don't because the uncle i mean i just kind of felt like didn't really see him too much but then again it's not at this point completely pointless and then i, I just <laughs> Like, so I just I, like I, I don't know like it just makes you hate like her people I guess it, it's just like they're all just trash and then the, I just remember like the show like that scene where that kid falls in the street and I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, and then I just kind of like moved on but it's just like I just I don't know it uh it's uh, well, well I, I guess like, at this point I would prefer to have it now where things change with uh you know like because I think we all kind of ex- expect like they're all supposed to die. But now it's more like hoping that doesn't happen now. If it's a, if it's, if I assume like now it's going to be trying to save them. But do you think that that's going to be a possibility, or do you think it's going to be basically they're all just going to get wiped, and then season two is a whole new cast? I don't know. Yeah, because it's almost it's like... being built up of like they know they're heading, you know, to their death, and like what can Lena really do at this point? Like she's tried going to her uncle and getting reinforcements, and obviously they're not giving them any reinforcements yep. because this is their execution grounds. Like everybody gets sent here to die. Um, I feel in a weird way like I'm almost okay. Like if the majority of them die, and like Lena doesn't ever get to have that interaction with them, because I feel like that would just give more like weight to this world that like war is unfair and you know you're trying to change this system and yeah i mean i don't know i feel like i feel like nobody's gonna win at the end weirdly enough it feels at least in this current it it feels definitely more like impactful because like because the way the season's been going like when we just keep seeing everyone get like die one by one and then we see i just know it's like in like the that like the attack board of like with everyone's faces and how like you see that it 
it's slowly doing down every time someone dies. So, so and that's that's like I feel like that's one of the strengths of of this season is like it. Or I mean, I know that we don't see like we see don't we don't see the characters much, but it's actually having the feeling of people like slowly dying over the season for me like is one of the strengths. So yeah. I can hmm. see it keep do going you, down that route. Do you think it could be a possibility that Lena will eventually just go out to? the the I battlegrounds i feel like that's say, I was thinking, off, off, off the republic like you know like i'm not what, getting anywhere here i feel like it's like a, what what they're yeah i, I feel like that's what's leading towards you but then if, if everyone's just got to die i don't know now anymore like if that's what she's yeah. gonna do yeah well that I part and i just oh, yeah go ahead I, I just assume like i was thinking like you know she would eventually go out there as well but at this point it's just like what's the point if it's just her like i thought like maybe she would in, in a sense like go around her city or her like her people and try to see if there's like any people like any sane people that would want to yeah. um you know fight for the 80, the 86 mm-hmm. that's but it's but now it's the whole thing is like if they're all supposed to die it's you know like how david said like what's the point yeah i could only see like if she does go out then like okay you know you'll have shin obviously staying just alive be shin. for the majority I yeah. think the one girl with the um, long hair that we thought was potentially, you know, uh, an Alba or whatever, the one that An- in this week's episode, yeah. Anju, yeah, I was taking a shower with the other girl and then we saw like those scars on her back. Um, I think she kind of has plot armor yeah. because they didn't really <laughs> explain what the scars well, came from other than just like poor treatment of like the 86. To be something. fair, though. To be fair, their plot armor falls immediately. <laughs> so, yeah, very in these very true. Very true. They do, you know, draw these grandiose, like, oh, you know, I want to, you know, show my true emotions for this person, and then they just get, you know, yeah, <laughs> but, this in this episode. But but really, I think the only person that would survive is Shin. Um, yeah. Oh, yeah. And maybe and maybe the other guy with spiky hair, maybe. But I but I, I feel like. Uh, if, if anything, he'd probably just end up sacrificing himself. Yeah. I think that, that maybe like the blonde guy too. That's the leading of like the fox unit or whatever that took it from the other. Oh, one the, guy. The, I can't the annoying kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, I don't know. Well, yeah, I, it's. I mean, I'm gonna finish the season, but I'm by no means gonna go and watch the light. I mean, I'll, I'll finish it alone <laughs> for uh, Sawano and his epic soundtracks that he provides to the show. Oh, so. yeah. Yeah. yeah, if 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 everybody just get wiped out and die, and especially Shin, I'm like, okay, we're we're good. I don't need a whole new cast. Yeah, I heard you guys mentioning that as I took a step away, where you were like, oh, what if they had a new cast? No, thank you. I would just be done. Same. Yeah. I mean, for as for as little as I know about them, I feel like <laughs> too attached to them to just have them all die. And I like Shin, and I like Lena. You know, <laughs> I'm just saying about how they kill everybody off. You know. I actually really like, sorry, I'm just going to say one thing really quick. I know you guys have already been talking about it, but I actually really like the main character of this show, like a lot. Like, I'm really harsh on some females in anime <laughs> and how they're portrayed, but I really like her. Like, I remember at the beginning, she was thinking something serious or trying to, like, get away. She was trying to get away with sending the fireworks, and she's trying to use her authority to make it happen. And she's, like, walking down the hallway, and she, like, has this horribly embarrassing moment where she trips. And then she just <laughs> tries to, like, get up and walk on. And it was, like, such a stupid little tiny thing, but it was, like, really... It th- felt really relatable to me, and I like those mm-hmm. moments that they have. Um, So I'm kind of sad that, like... I'm kind of sad that, like, the rest of the show is kind of mid and, and... Right? It's just the, the, the Lena and Shin show at the end of the day. Like, yeah, that's all. Yeah. It is. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I got gosh. More. Well, for me, it's like I've I've been looking at too much other people's like just like everyone just praises the show so much for directing. So like, I'm trying so hard to see it, but it's like I can't get past like all the other issues even that I've been discussing. Mm-hmm. So that's why like, yeah. I really I, mean, I just want to read the light novel, see like if it's like if it's I don't know. I feel like there's definitely really probably a lot more game. fleshing out of characters than the light just, novel. It feels just such a, such a disconnect yeah. oh, between yeah. like between our group and like the whole other general like yeah. general mm-hmm. like census. Yeah, so. that's the thing. Like we literally haven't seen anybody else on the Alba mm-hmm. side that gives two fucks about yeah. Lena and her mission. So right. like, they're awful. Not... Like all of them are awful. They're yeah. just bo- not only are they just awful people like characters, but as a viewer, they're boring and and just very one dimensional and. <laughs> Now, honestly, they don't even seem like very great like dictators. You yeah. know what I mean? They're they're really bad at that. Even I'm surprised they managed to stay in power well, for so long. To be honest, I, I like how like with like the whole war in a sense, they basically just seem like they're just weathering the storm. Like, they're not even really trying to win it. They're just they're basically just like send, like how they mentioned like they're just sending like like eight, like the people of eighty six to just die. Like mm-hmm. that's they're just basically just it's just like an execution, mm-hmm. and that's about it. 
it just seems just fucking stupid. It's more of like they should just like you know let them just take over that entire place, just let them just run out, run it all over. Well, I mean that's why yeah. A6 don't care because uh, oh, the be. Legion, <laughs> Legion are gonna come in anyways. They yeah. Just leave. They just want to die on their own terms. If you're gonna die, you know at least I'll choose how I die. Like they said, you think there'd be a better way to run away? You know, just run away, go to the beach, just retire. Uh, yeah, hmm. but whatever. Too easy. <laughs> yeah, I suppose. Thank you.